Honey, I'm home. That's a ball of yarn. Oh. My ball! No, it's yarn. I'm knitting a nice new sweater for your sister. My ball! No, I need it to... My ball! I'm trying to explain to you... My ball! Yes. I don't know what I was thinking. It is your ball. Don't want it. Fine. Jimmy! Uh. Oh. <laughs> My ball! My ball! My ball! Hi, girls. How was school? Oh, it was wonderful, Mom. Yeah, best day of our lives. Let's see till our thighs explode. Yes? Yes. What happened? Well, if you must know the grisly details, Mindy and I went to the cafeteria for lunch, potato yeah. salad, and we were standing there with our trays because the place was packed. Do we have any tartar sauce? And the only seats anywhere were at Heather Worthington's table. So we had to sit on the floor. Oh. But you said there were seats at Heather's table. Chocolate sauce. Yeah. Mom, lunch is not as simple as it was in your day. There's a social hierarchy at work here. Explain it to me slowly. I'm very old. Uh, Heather hangs with a group of girls who are vain and self-centered. They all sit at the same table and wear the same yeah. clothes. And they think that no one is as good as they are. Yeah. And you want desperately to be one of them? I'd sell my own mother. That's sweet. But we are social outcasts and shall remain so, for that is our sad destiny. Cheese log? Yeah. Yes. Girls, I know you're disappointed, but I think you'll find stuffing yourselves won't make you feel any better. So you're saying we need TV, too? Adolescence is a lonely and confusing time. So many pressures, so many changes, so many questions. Who am I? Do I fit in? Why don't I feel better about myself? You don't need to feel better about yourself. You just need to feel superior to others. And there's only one thing that can do it. Status! Status, huh? Where can I get it? At Prestige Outerwear. Prestige Outerwear can fill the void in your life with a glamorous jacket your friends can never afford. So make sure you own the coat that says, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. Uh, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a chance, Charlene. Oh, oh, but if I had that coat, Heather Worthington would be banging down my door. Oh, please. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. That coat is far too expensive for a girl your age. Well, that's exactly my point, Mom. Charlene, if what? we each pay half, maybe we could buy it together. Oh, good. You see, Mom, you only have to give me half. I think that's reasonable, and that's my final offer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, no. Oh, but... Okay, Mom, maybe you're right. Maybe I'd appreciate the coat more if I had to work for it. I love you, Daddy. Back at you, Charlene. Daddy, waddy, waddy, daddy. Can I get you anything? Slippers, a pipe, a wounded antelope screaming for its life? Huh? Well, aren't you something? Yeah. Hey, you see this here? Hmm? This is what a father likes to see. See? A loving child, not too proud to humble herself at a father's feet. Huh? Hey, why don't you treat me like this? Because I don't need any money. Oh, well, isn't that just like you, my cynical child, to expect the worst from everybody? Tell him, Charlene. Tell him this isn't about money. I need $500. I never wanted either one of you. Daddy Weddy. No, it's true. You can ask your mother. I have only one true child to carry on my legacy. Not the mama. <laughs> but, Daddy, you don't understand. There's this coat I have to have. My whole social life depends on it. Dinner time. Let me tell you something, little girl. You don't need fancy clothes. Uh, Look at me. Please. All I have is this one shirt, and I command respect wherever I go. Ma. Go! Out of my way, you worthless sack of fat. What are you doing here? I came to have dinner with the family I love. Earl, stop fighting with Mother. Fran, why do you always take her side? Because she's old and helpless. Yeah! <laughs> Dad, uh, <gasps> here, let me help you, Is Dad. that the phone ringing? No, Dad, it's not the but phone. But I hear bells. I know, Dad. A dinosaur just got oh, Aren't you coming to dinner, sweetheart? No, I'm not hungry. And I'm never eating again until I get that coat. Or I pass a buffet. What's this about a coat? Oh, it's only the most beautiful coat in the world, and it only costs $500. But Daddy won't let me have it because of meanness. $500? Yeah. Mom, oh, if your father's really opposed to it. Hmm? Here you go. Oh, oh, Grandma! Do you mean it? I was saving it for your college. But a voice in my head kept saying, the only way she's going to college is inside a cake at a frat house party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, gosh, Grandma, you really understand. Pretty Five much. big ones. Yes! <laughs> Welcome back to Totally Hidden Predator. We hid our predator in this peaceful suburban park. 
Let's watch as the unsuspecting Ida Schmertzler comes home from the market now. <laughs> What's for dinner, Ida? You are! <laughs> Did you see the look on her face? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just love dinosaurs caught in the act of being themselves. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Ready for what, dear? <clears throat> Ta-da! So what do you think? Earl. What? Look what she's wearing. Yeah, I'm a old. <laughs> hey, look, the bread is in the washing machine. <laughs> Charlene, where on earth did you get $500 to buy that coat? Grandma gave it to me. <gasps> that was going to be your college money. How could you throw away your entire education for a piece of clothing? I look great. That's all I need to know. <sighs> if I might interject a word here. Hey, listen to that. It talks. I was thinking the same thing about you. Oh, thanks. My dear, your daughter won't be in any shape to go to college until she addresses this self-esteem problem of hers. Now, I don't want to place blame where it obviously belongs, but perhaps you should let me take it from here. Help me, please. Oh, that must be Mindy. Oh, she's going to be so jealous. That's the idea. <laughs> after you. You go first. No, after you. No, after Earl, you. did you hear that? Charlene's coat just said we're bad parents. Charlene who? Oh, oh. Oh, Charlene, it's the coolest, oh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have the money. Can I try it on? Yeah. Whoa, 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 sweetheart. What? Just one quick question. Who dressed you, and why do they hate you so much? Oh, what? Uh, no, this is my best friend, Mindy. Mindy, this is our coat. Mindy. You don't like my outfit? No, uh... Well, dear, you are clearly making a fashion statement. Oh. And that statement is, welcome to the big top. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, see, uh, what Mindy and I thought is that we'd kind of share you. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Here's what you have to understand, Charlene. The whole point of a status symbol, <laughs> like myself, yeah. is that you have me and others don't. <laughs> but we had a deal. Oh, yeah, no we... one's talking to you, dear. Just stand there and wait for your clothes to come back in style. <gasps> That, now, shut Lan. Right. Here's what you say. Mindy, it's been wonderful having you for a little playmate. Oh, wow. Don't you think that's kind of insulting? Dear, do you really want to be popular? Mindy, it's been wonderful having you as a little playmate. But socially, I have to move on. Yeah, but... Oh, Mindy, I... I'll call you in a couple of days. Charlene, I thought you were my uh, friend. Uh, <gasps> oh, I'm gonna go out and Mindy, buy a pair uh, of shoes. My own uh, shoes. You can never wear them. Boy. Did we really have to do that? Oh, you feel guilty, don't you? Yeah, kinda. It goes away. It does? Now, let's go upstairs and open your yearbook okay. and pick out a whole new set of friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was like fun. It's time for DTV News. In the record stores next month, the new disc from Lizard Skizzard. We talk to the lead guitarist, Nigel Ouch. Your first album, Borrow This Record From A Friend and Tape It, didn't sell very well. Yeah, well, it was all quite shocked, you know. Mm -hmm. But we're hoping a new record, Take This Off The Radio For Free, will be a bit more commercial. Thank you, Nigel. And next month, Lizard Skizzard hits the road for their Don't Bother To Come will be on cable next month tour. Ticket sales so far have been sluggish. <sighs> Hello. No, Charlene's not here right now. Sure, I'll be glad to take a message for her. I've been doing it all day. Well, let me get a pen. <sighs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Brittany, yeah, yeah. Four, four, six, slow down, slow down. Eight, six, seven, got it. Oh, yeah, I'll be sure she gets it. Bye. Was that another phone call for Charlene? Who else? You see, Earl, that's just what I was talking about. Ever since Charlene bought that new coat, she has all these new friends. I'm worried. Oh, friends worried. What a surprise. I mean it, Earl. This could be a real problem. Oh, you're right. It's just awful. Our daughter has a lot of friends, is very popular with everyone at school, and is happier than she's ever been. What a terrible thing. Where did we fail as parents? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. What a wonderful day. I have the best possible news. Well, brace yourself, friend. More happiness to worry about. <laughs> Do you want to tell them, or should I? No, no, you go ahead. Okay. Heather Worthington said that it would be all right if I sat at her table tomorrow. See? Huh? Charlene, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but have you considered that the only reason these girls like you is because of your coat? Well, duh, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you again. Oh, and you? Any calls for me? Not a one. That's odd. 
Earl, our daughter is turning into a social climbing snob. They grow up oh so fast. Oh, oh this is so great. <laughs> We've arrived. Uh, lunch at Heather's table. Oh, it's more than I could ever have dreamed. It's a disaster. Why? We're totally unprepared. What are you talking about? I have you. Yes, but everyone knows you have me. And the novelty of me has gotten old. And I will not be old. No. Oh. I must be kept fresh. I must be kept new. I must be accessorized. What are you saying? Give me a belt, a brooch, oh, a hat. There. I'm dying oh, here. <laughs> Come on, I have lots of stuff. Uh, no, no. Where is it? Yes, ha! Ooh, this sweater's nice, isn't it? Hmm, well, what's it made of? 100% all-natural polyvinyl chloride. Oh, honey, we've got to do some shopping. Great. Now, where does Heather buy her clothes? Oh, at that expensive place in the mall. Mm, let's go. But I don't have any more money. <laughs> Your father has a credit card, doesn't he? Yeah, but he never let me borrow it. Shaolin, he's your father. He loves you. So? He wants you to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Steal it. <laughs> Tonight we wondered what would happen if we put our totally hidden predator in our personnel office. <laughs> Is this the right door? Should I just go in? <clears throat> uh, hello? Uh, what? Hello, I'm here for the job interview. Uh, hmm? hey, hey, the predator! Am I on TV? <laughs> Wow, these are all so beautiful. Now, this is more like it. <gasps> Do you see the prices? Oh, please. <gasps> <laughs> I'm not with her, really. <laughs> Would you like to wait in the car? Look, I'm not opposed to spending my dad's money, Could but this you? sweater costs more than he makes in a month. Oh, he can take a second job. Right. Why should he lie around the house every night when he could be off in some factory performing some simple, repetitive task? Ugh. Maybe this was a bad idea. <gasps> well, my goodness, oh. look who's here. Oh, uh, Heather. Hi. I didn't know you shopped here. Oh, sure, all the time. Really? I would never have guessed from the way you, uh, dress. Oh. Well, present company accepted. What? Well, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> 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 so, uh, what have you bought? Well, uh, so far, we've been a little indecisive. Well, who can decide? I mean, I like this one mm. and this one. Mm. Well, here's a thought. Maybe you should try one of them on. Yeah, mm. I knew that. Yes. You know, you might be better off with the vertical stripes. At least until you get your weight down. <laughs> Allow me. Uh, <laughs> you are trying to lose weight, aren't you? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, what? yeah. <laughs> I mean, who isn't? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should see her all day long. Snack, 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 snack. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what an awesome lining. Oh, would you like to try me on? <gasps> I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. But I already have one pretty much like it. <laughs> Plus, it kind of seems stupid to spend so much money on a sweater. Well, then maybe you should go where you usually shop. Some store where you can rummage through bins. Uh, <laughs> hey, I thought we were going to be friends. 
Mm. I thought you had taste. Mm -hmm. I guess we were both wrong. Mm. Well, I'll just take my coat if you don't mind. Uh, Ooh, what are you doing? Uh, we're going home. You don't own me. Oh, yes, I do. Ah. Uh, oh! oh. <laughs> it looks like your coat has already made its choice. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to make me popular. You were popular for a couple of days, and now you're not. I gave up my best friend for you. They all do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over this again. Tell me what happened. Tell me exactly what happened. Give me juice. Give me answers. Uh-uh. Who took my credit card? Can't make me talk. Yes. <laughs> I'll give you a cookie. Charlene, Charlene's the one. Charlene took it. She's the one you want. Charlene, I saw her take it. I saw her do it. Charlene, she took it. I watched her. She took it right out of your... Earl, <sighs> what's going on in here? Charlene took my credit card. Didn't hear from me. She, she snuck it here when I was sleeping and stole it. We've raised a common criminal, Fran. I gotta call the credit card company. She could be out there buying stereos and boats. Earl, you have a $50 limit. Yeah, well, it's a good thing I'm such a credit risk. How could my own daughter do this to me? She's got an expensive new coat and a group of rich friends. And now she feels she has to keep up with them. Yeah, well, if she wants to keep up with her rich friends, why didn't she steal their father's credit cards? Hmm. Earl! What? That would be wrong. What's wrong is that we don't want our daughter to grow up believing that status is the key to a better life. So how many credit cards do you think she could steal in a week? Earl Sinclair, what are you thinking of? Stereos, Fran. And boats. Oh. Hi. D Daddy? Charlene, do you have something you want to tell your father? I took your credit card. I know that. <laughs> Where's my boat? What? Earl? Yes, my first mate? Ship off. Aye, aye, Fran. Oh, but before I go, there's something I want to tell you, young lady. Status is not the key to a better life. I believe that now, Daddy. Yeah, well, so does your mother. I'm so depressed. Ugh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Mom, I was so stupid. I just wanted to fit in with Heather and the other popular girls, and I thought if I had a nice coat that they would like me better. But they didn't like me. They liked my coat. The important thing is you know what you did was wrong. Yes. Yes, I do. I really do, so you don't have to ground me because I know what I did was wrong, so what would be the point? You're grounded. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yes. And if I've gotten back to Charlene, I know. She knows what she's gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mindy? Yeah, it's me.